Hi guys, welcome to my bathroom today. I know it's a little unusual to catch me in my bathroom and this is really kind of a gardening channel here, but I do some home stuff as well. Today, this is a public service announcement about my toilet paper. So I went to Walmart yesterday because I was out and I had to buy more and what I did was I inadvertently bought scented toilet paper. I think it is lavender scented, it's freaking nauseating. My desk is right next to the bathroom, so I've been sell it, smelling this all day, and it's been nasty, and so I have to get it out of here now. And that's the journey you get to come on with me. So I got my laundry basket, and this the stuff is just going. It is just going. I'm done with this for now. There. See? I could have put this out on my balcony to air out. So there it is. Wish me luck. Maybe when I bring it in a few hours from now, it won't stink so bad. And then this happened. And for the record, that scent is lingering in the bathroom. Okay, so there it is. It has been sitting outside for four hours now. The four hours. Excuse me. The four hours have not made the slightest impact on the stench that these things hold. Hold on a second. The problem with this is, and I know that I'm coming across as being like so um, oh, over dramatic about like toilet paper, <laughs> but it stinks so bad. And the problem that has come now is this has been out here four hours now and it has lost none of its scent. And it, I can't leave it out here overnight because, you know, I live in Tennessee. It gets really humid, like 100% humidity at night. And I can't have the toilet paper out here like that. Then I'm really screwed. So now my issue is where am I going to put this in the house where it's not going to, like, be overwhelming? It's going to be overwhelming anywhere. So I can't put it back in the bathroom because my desk is in my bedroom and I can't be doing that all night. It's awful. I did that last night. It was gross, you know, but I don't want to leave it in the living room because it's going to stink up the whole living room and kitchen space. It's all open. So I don't know if this is probably my only option is to put it into the art room because at least we can close the door and no one sleeps in there. I know I feel, it sounds like I'm making a big deal about this, but I swear to God, do not think of buying the Walmart brand scented toilet paper. Just don't do it to yourself. <laughs> Public service announcement. Anyway, oh God. Here we go. My cats are going to like it. They're going to run outside for a few minutes. <sighs> the door behind me so the cats don't run in here and well there it is for the night it's just gonna stink up this room so oh my god I can't believe I'm carrying on about this but you guys trust me you don't want this kind of hell in your house so me and the kiddo went shopping today and I decided to show you the product that stinks because I threw the packaging out it's this angel soft right here with the fresh lavender stay away just stay away please so I ended up going with the Walmart brand unscented because I don't trust that scented, that lavender scented angel soft. I just don't trust it. That besides the nauseousness, it's the chemicals in the fragrance. And if it's going to linger in that toilet paper airing out for five days now, because it was Tuesday and today's Saturday, it's been airing out for five days and it still stinks. So, you know, it has faded, yeah, but the point is, is I don't want to cleanse my body with a product that that's, that's filled with that much chemical fragrance. Um, so, anyway, this is where I ended up. I hope you found this, this video funny. I hope you found it worthwhile. If you want to see if all of this is BS, go ahead and buy it and then let me know 
what you think. I just thought it was nasty as heck. And my advice to you is to run and run fast. Catch you in the next video, guys.